Uh, then my name is Rodrigo. Uh, just uh, continue about the power relations, and uh, I would say uh, colonial relations as well. Then you make any uh, inference or relation between uh, material extraction or material appropriation and, for example, exchange rate uh, into currencies or uh, the wage, uh, minimum wage or uh, property rights. You make any analysis by these other factors and the material consumption within those countries? Because I think that uh, the exchange rate and uh, wage and property rights are uh, really strong uh, relations for those kind of appropriation. And I don't think that you make this any kind of relations. And just maybe something that you could clarify for me. In your presentation, you uh, state that uh, for this, it's based on the welfare state. And then I would ask maybe what about the USA? that uh, it's one of the biggest examples uh, of Fordism, but I wouldn't maybe agree that they have a welfare oh. state there. Oh. Well, I, I begin with the second one. I think that, uh, well, we, we can ask uh, uh, Robert Boyer, but I think that uh, the USA, they had a, 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 a specific uh, welfare state as well. They had, I, I, I mean, at least they had, a, I don't know, a, a, uh, a wage, uh, the wage relation was uh, 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 quite similar, let's say, uh, to some extent uh, to that of France. Uh, they had a, a really uh, uh, important uh, taxes uh, on uh, uh, wealth. Uh, they had, uh, uh, until, from, I mean, but I think that for the, the US Fordism uh, begins in, in the 30s and ends in late 60s, maybe. Or, but I think you can say that. But maybe I, I, I was wrong. But, uh, uh, but though, uh, even though, uh, I mean, the, 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 uh, now you can ask if Mitchell's argument is true for the US. Uh, and that uh, uh, you, you, you need to, to, to study, to work. Uh, I, I, I don't know uh, 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 well the US history, uh, and I cannot uh, say if it was uh, 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 correct or not, of, or maybe, maybe this, arg this argument uh, does not work for the US. Then, um, for the first question, uh, if I if I uh, add, um, what was your question? Ah, yeah, uh, exchange rates uh, and property rights in my analysis. No, I did not. I did not. Uh, and uh, I should maybe for uh, for some countries. Well, I I I want to uh, insist a little bit of on one aspect. Uh, this was. I mean, a huge summary of 200 years, I mean, it's too much, it's too big, and uh, there are, uh, I mean, uh, the whole world is here, and uh, all materials, and so, of course, this is, uh, this is uh, 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 not accurate. Now, I will, well, for instance, now I, I have a student, and maybe we will uh, uh, study uh, the exchanges between France and some colonies. And then I, I, will, I will find it uh, necessary to add all, all those aspects that you mentioned. But here for this, those, those big pictures, I, I did not, I did not. I have no idea. I, but you, 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 you should divide, for instance, all uh, trade flows into all countries, because there are also many uh, trade flows uh, with um, the U European Union. And even inside the European Union, you, ha you can have uh, unequal uh, 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 exchanges, uh, ecologically unequal exchanges. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you have to, 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 to work a lot and to really go uh, uh, and see the context, uh, the, the, the social rights, and what, what, uh, uh, all those aspects. And yeah, I, I did not. Uh, but I want to, to, to do that uh, for some countries. Uh, but I think that um, I, I, th I think that it's really nice to go on a precise uh, debate. 
And for instance, uh, how important was Algeria in the after 45, uh, and how and what, which institutions are uh, uh, in, were important, and which actors, and how they they change the the, the, the rules, and how they social uh, interests uh, and which social social interests were uh, dominant, and I mean to really have a, 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 a the history of, of those changes. And uh, that's why I'm doing now. Uh, now I, I am, because I, I like all those big pictures, but now I, I uh, uh, those, these years, uh, 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 because the first, first graphs are, uh, were works from 2017, 18, 19, and now for the last two or three years, I am focusing on more specific aspects. And uh, to say something more complex and, and precise, you know, because uh, at, 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 at a large scale, you only have two or three big arguments which are not always true, and uh, so I feel a bit uncomfortable. Uh, or at least I am not, uh, uh, I, I, have, uh, I, I have no big arguments uh, uh, to, to, to describe everything. So now, yeah, I, 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 I focus on a specific aspect, and then you, you can, then material flows are only one part of the, 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 the history because uh, I, they just say something. But n now in my works, I have uh, like uh, engineers, uh, uh, techniques, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, goods and productions and industries. And I have really precise uh, uh, um, actors. And I just say like, like OK, they, they are controlling um, those flows. This is one good question: Who controls material flows, and uh, and how how you 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 can you can uh, um, you can detect uh, uh, where the con the, the power is uh, of those material flows? Uh, hi, I'm Juan from Argentina. Thank you. Do you hear me well? Yes, yes. Ah, thank you for your presentation. It was really stimulating. Um, I, for my master thesis, I'm working with regulation theory for Argentina. So I wanted to ask you two questions, small questions, about uh, your argument, let's say. First, uh, since it's a, a new notion, let's say, for regulation theory, you, to which level of abstraction would you think this, let's say, biophysic arrangement? Is it part of the mode of regulation, like one of the five uh, core conflicts, or would you put it outside? Uh, that's one more theoretical question. And regarding to your last intervention, uh, how do you think this argument, uh, like the reverse of the argument, in the sense from Argentina or from any biomass exporter or oil exporter, uh, how would you add this axis to the argument or when analyzing a mode of development? I, I hope I'm clear enough, but it's really hard because it's a new uh, argument that you're bringing to the table. Uh, I, I'm sorry, you, you need to repeat the second question? The second What's question? About when you study a developing country that yes. exports uh, biomass or yes. oil, yeah. how do you think this biophysic arrangement, I, I'm putting this name, but I think yeah. you understand what I'm saying, this new axis of the regulation theory, how do you put it in play to understand, because you, you talk about, okay, who control the flows uh -huh. of this? Would you put the, would you focus on more, let's say, extranjerization of production, the multinational companies in developing countries? Uh -huh. well, do I? Okay, I understand. I think, think uh, it, it depends. I, well, what I can say for uh, South America, I was really interested because I'm Brazilian. <laughs> and, uh, well, they are all extractive countries. And, uh, and it's really interesting because, uh, Again, you, you need to understand the, the, the complex dynamics because uh, they were extractive, but for some times they were extractive and at the same time uh, social rights were better or they, they were a little bit of, uh, uh, I, 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 let's say, uh, 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 better wages uh, and so forth. I, I am, it's a summarized. Uh, and then there, they were still extractive, but uh, with uh, really neoliberal uh, uh, policies and rules and uh, 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 they were uh, um, 
neoliberal policies we, which were uh, uh, imposed. And, but also you can detect that some actors were also, uh, uh, they were social interested on, in those countries to, to be extractive and neoliberal. And, uh, and so you, you see uh, uh, some tensions between uh, social uh, interest in those countries. For the, the case of Brazil is interesting, and Argentina as well, uh, uh, they, they are uh, exporting m metals a, a lot, of course, and uh, uh, biomass, soja, and uh, soy, sorry. And uh, so, well, uh, of course, uh, 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 the, the Brazilian uh, uh, capitalism uh, depends on, uh, on, on some material basis, and. The mode of development of, of Brazil, of course, uh, 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 is related to, uh, strongly is related to uh, 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 extractivism. Uh, well, how? That's the question. I, 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 you, you, I, I mean, I have, I have no, no answer here, but you, 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 you need to, to, to see which sector are mo the most important, which material flows are the most important, and uh, how how uh, uh, social group uh, are imposing their agenda? For instance, in, in Brazil, it is well known that there is a, a agribusiness uh, sector which is really really important. They helped Bolsonaro to to to, to win the election, uh, and uh, but before Bolsonaro, they were already there, uh, but they were less powerful. And okay. Uh, so well, yeah, you you you. This is strongly re related with uh, with uh, the the modest development uh, is clearly uh, 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 in, in my in my opinion uh, uh, related to uh, to uh, material flows. Then uh, your first question. Uh, I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, just in a few words. Ah, ah. Oh yeah, no. So, so that's that's a good question, and uh, 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 we have many discussion about about this. Well, I am I am not uh, I, I am not uh, uh, going too much into the theoretical debates at the moment. Um, well, there are some reasons. First, I. I, at the moment, I am not sure uh, if we can add some new institutional f form or uh, if it would be interested to new add a new concept. Uh, I, I like, uh, but this is part of the process of the regulation approach as well, because the regulation approach uh, tells you to, uh, they call it uh, abduction. I don't know if the, the, it's the same word in, in English, but it, it means that, uh, you work with empirical data, you find some periodization, you find some uh, tendencies and so forth, and then you go back to the uh, theoretical aspects and you, you, you change uh, 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 the, the, the framework of the regulation, uh, 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 the regulationist framework. And uh, that, that's why uh, uh, regulation theory is so powerful because it, you, can, you can always uh, 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 transform it. Uh, of course, it needs to be done in a good uh, manner, but, uh, but well, in, in, at, at the moment, I, I did not go into an uh, uh, abstraction uh, debate. I have some ideas, but I, well, I just can say that I was, well, I, well yeah, I, I changed because at the beginning, I was, I was in favor of a new institutional form. Uh, well, so, well, they, they, basically, I, I'm not, Sure, how familiar are people with uh, 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 regulation theory? But uh, there are five in institutional form. Th there is a debate: can we add one another uh, uh, institutional form, which uh, uh, will s summarize uh, the, the, the social relation with the environment? Uh, so at the beginning, I was uh, 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 I was uh, in favor of this proposition, and then I, I thought it was not necessary. So you see, <laughs> I, I, I am not, uh, I, I, I did not work enough uh, uh, at the moment. Um, but also, I thought there were too much debates on this topic and uh, very few empirical works. 
So I was thinking, okay, let's work uh, first, and let's let's propose a um, really new uh, re uh, new approaches, new debates, new uh, ideas, and then we take uh, some years, and then we will uh, uh, maybe have a clear uh, answer. But uh, that's that's how I, I felt about this discussion. But it is true that I, 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 I for me, uh, nature or the environment, as you know. Probably uh, uh, those names are really uh, bizarre and not uh, accurate uh, for many uh, social scientists. But uh, they are in every s uh, institutional form. So I, uh, that, that's why I, I feel uh, 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 uncomfortable to, to, to add another one. But uh, it's open. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I have not much knowledge about regulation theory, to be honest, um, but I find it really interesting what you presented. Um, my question regards the categories. So you're like, uh, as far as I understand regulation theory, it is mostly concerned with the um, borders between production and the culture and institutional framework which is around it. And what you just presented is this social metabolic um, framework which is having, having to do with the border between the material world and the production world. Um, would you maybe also agree with the ref framing of these categories in three metabolisms, like a ma material metabolism, which is the material world which is reproducing itself, uh, productive, um, uh, a productive metabolism where it's about the production of goods and services, and a cultural metabolism which is more uh, regarding the flows of information and the production of culture, knowledge, technology? Mm. Good question. <laughs> um, well, yeah, the, the metabolism only describes those flows which are necessary for one system, for one econo uh, economic system. Uh, all kind of flows. Well, uh, can we divide and say those flows are only necessary for production, those are cultural flows, or I, well, I, I, I have no idea, uh, to be honest. Um, I, I would say, well, I, I, at the moment, what they do, I mean, they only count, for instance, material flows when uh, those flows are uh, goods, commodities. If, if, you, if you transform, uh, well, I will take one example because I, I know it very, really well. If you build a, a highway, you will have a lot of earthworks. You you need to 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 to, to transport a lot of her uh, um, yeah of earth and um, billions and billions of, of uh, cubic uh, uh, meter of. Uh, but uh, those are hidden flows. You don't count it. You don't count it. Even though they they serve the economy, they they are needed uh, to build this highway. And the same is true for uh, mining. If you go, uh, if you open one mine, uh, you need a lot of her force as well. You, you need a, a, a road, and then you need to, to, to uh, uh, transform uh, the, the, the space uh, to uh, go and extract your, your, uh, uh, what you are looking for. Your, your and all those flows are not, not uh, uh, counted. So are those? Uh, productive flows, cultural flows, or uh, uh, in which metabolism do we count them? Do we don't we count them, and, and so forth? Those are really important questions. That's why I, I insist a lot of methodological aspects, and that's why I because all the the, the hidden flows, those uh, bizarre flows, when there is reuse, for instance, we don't count it. We only count recycling when it is a commodity. Again, so. Uh, circular economy is only when it is a commodity. If you repair something, if you reuse some uh, flows and do something, uh, build another wonderful house with uh, uh, local materials that you reuse, it is not, it is not circular economy. Because it is not, uh, com the, the, those are not uh, commodities. So you, you see that uh, it, those are I interesting uh, uh, aspects. 
Well, and um, about your uh, uh, distinction, pff, I don't know if it if it if it is useful. If you find a case where it is useful to divide into uh, uh, those categories, uh, well, I, I'll be happy to to see it. I, I again, I. I feel that uh, every uh, question has uh, its uh, own uh, needs, its own uh, uh, methodology. Uh, or, or, well, you see that you, you you are interested in recycling, for instance, and then okay, how I capture those flows and which are those flows? And oh, okay, we don't count uh, reuse uh, flows. And uh, who controls those flows? Which industries? And and then you 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 create, you build. Uh, 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 a space with actors and, uh, you, and you can also say that you will study the metabolism of uh, one industry and only the flows of uh, the, the recycling industries for instance and you so you, you change the scale it's, it's not a, a territorial scale it's the, 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 the you know the, the territory of your, your uh, 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 um, object is not a, 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 a region, a city, but it can be a, a, some industries. And, uh, and if you want to study, uh, I will end with this sentence on your, about your question. Uh, if you want to study, uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, cultural aspects or services, or that, uh, uh, you have other methodologies. I will, I, I will only mention one. Uh, they are really interested in what are uh, the material flows of the service sector. Because everyone says services are immaterial. There are, they need no flows. Facebook, great. OK, some data center, and that's it. And, and here again, uh, there are uh, uh, pro uh, pro interesting propositions. Uh, for instance, I know that they are developing, uh, they, are, they, they are studying uh, the, the uh, global value chains of uh, the service sector, for instance, and they they are allocating their environmental responsibility to the one to the the the, 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 the sector or to the the, the point uh, which generates the more the most of the uh, 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 value. So the, the this is the uh, value added uh, perspective. So if Google or Facebook uh, is generating a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired, of uh, value, add, uh, value added, added value, added value. Uh, they, they are responsible, even though they don't extract and they don't consume. So it's not, the, the, f the, the, the responsibility does, does not uh, uh, go to the consumer, uh, neither to the uh, uh, extractor uh, part, a little bit, of course, but you can also say that uh, uh, the, the financial uh, industry or the, 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 I don't know, insurance and uh, other sectors or other uh, multinationals are also responsible for these flows. So it's, it's also, this, this, this methodology is really interesting because it also says something about who, who, uh, who has the power in, in those chains. And you can, you can imagine that uh, uh, a, a, a French multinational uh, decide for uh, one flow that goes from, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, South Africa to Mexico. And so, it, but it is the responsibility of uh, 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 French capitalists or, uh, uh, and French uh, multinationals and so forth. Uh, so, well, th there are many, many possibilities, and uh, if you are interested in uh, uh, one specific uh, aspect or uh, numerical uh, service, or you c I think you can, st you can study uh, its uh, metabolism with another point of view. Yeah, thank you for the clarifications, and also I would just maybe have the opportunity to go back to the parasite. Because that's something that was very clear in your first paper, and when I was coming through it, I was quite interested to see how the parasite argument and relating back to the unequal exchange patterns between France and its colonial um, territories, but also within um, still today, that we see a specific pattern of power relationships. And I would like to ask that with uh, Natalia and Juan's question, 
Considering that regulation theory puts a lot of uh, importance in historical relationships, I would maybe like to ask what are the possible research paths to incorporate decolonization or coloniality within regulation theory? And also that's something that you conclude with, the idea that this is a possibility or as a research avenue, as a research path, and how can researchers in integrate the idea that this unequal pattern of exchange also influences still today. So maybe like, if you have papers or uh, possibilities, insights for us to, to enter into that literature would be very interesting. Okay. In the sense that like, this was something that was very important in the title, but I felt like we could have gone a little bit more, so maybe we could develop uh -huh. on that. <coughs> yeah, for sure. Um, well, send me an email also <laughs> uh, for some uh, uh, articles. Uh, well, yeah, first, well, I, I'm not a specialist uh, about uh, uh, colonialism and so forth. I have, I, I, I read a little bit about it, but uh, I, 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 I prefer to, to uh, uh, be honest and uh, uh, say it. Um, now, what, what we thought it was important here uh, in this work uh, was was the, the the fact that uh, there are maybe colonial relations with many countries which were not colonies, but uh, but in some way France uh, could uh, benefit from uh, 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 from those uh, from those countries. And what what we defend in our article is the fact that. Uh, 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 France benefited from, for instance, uh, 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 the, let's say, the English world, the English uh, colonial uh, colonies and, uh, uh, in the ni 19th century, for instance. Uh, and we, 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 we have, uh, I, I have uh, many data on uh, exchanges uh, with, uh, from, fr uh, uh, French colonies with France, but I think that what we see is uh, I don't know if, if uh, I'm not a specialist about colonialism, but maybe it, it uh, 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 new questions uh, arise from this war because uh, you can see that post-colonialism is uh, maybe uh, 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 even important as colonialism because. Uh, uh, th there are no more colonies, and still uh, 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 extractive countries are uh, sending their, their uh, all their materials to, to uh, European uh, uh, countries. Uh, uh, South America. If you see this graph, the physical trade balance of South America, you see the opposite totally. It's everything is above, uh, uh, below. Sorry, everything. So they really like y year after year. They send their 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 uh, materials to Europe, the USA, and China, and so forth. And so that's why uh, in this paper, particularly, we were interested in uh, uh, the world system approach and uh, with center and peripheries. And it's it's uh, also a good question uh, uh, to the regulation uh, regulation theory. Uh, how can we we adapt regulation theory to those aspects? Uh, that's really uh, uh, really challenging. I ha I have no 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 idea, but uh, 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 it is it is clear that French capitalism. I mean the, the internationalization of of, uh, uh, of uh, the French economy is really uh, a huge huge fact, and only an, uh, 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 studying the national uh, institutional forms. Uh, seems to be uh, not enough, and there is, of course, one institutional form which is responsible uh, responsible of uh, 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 the international aspects of the, 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 the whatever regulation. But uh, uh, so uh, uh, all this story uh, uh, is all all this this uh, 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 all those uh, uh, colonial relations in, uh, uh, in that institutional form or can we transform this institutional form, complexify it? I, 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 as I said, I have just many questions and a few answers, but uh, I think this is a, a challenge. But 
Now you have also to admit that uh, French regulation, uh, how to say it? Colonialism is not, is, is important or any other social phenomena is important to the regulation theory if it uh, impacts the accumulation regime and if it impacts really in a, in a, in a, 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 a visible manner. And of course, so, so you cannot say, oh, oh you, you, you have forgotten this and this and this, of course, because they, 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 you know, they, there are many, many uh, 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 complex aspects. And, uh, but um, maybe, so again, I think we need more, more works, but uh, it, it could be maybe interesting to, to, to add uh, uh, something to the, the to this institutional form, or to add, I don't know, uh, 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 other other uh, um, other concepts to the, the, to the regulationist framework. The 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 point is, and uh, but here we have a debate about regulation theory and world system actually, because the the point is uh, they. The regulation theory, I, I will just say it briefly, uh, they really uh, focus on uh, national rules, of course, because how the social compromises are, are made in a national territory. Uh, and the world system insists on the global aspect of, uh, let's say, capitalism. I, I'm just saying it in a few words, but that's... So you have two different, really, uh, approaches. And I think that the world system cannot say many things about uh, 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 specific aspects on, uh, of French capitalism. So that's, well, I, I'm not answering really well your question, but I tried. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe, maybe, maybe we are also running out of time. So maybe yeah. during, we can take two, two, three minutes break before a small discussion all together. So you can ask a question. I would just like to ask you one thing. The, the, can, um, Based on this type of work, are we talking also about the ecological debt notion? Uh, in currently, in all the discussions, especially southern countries, consider that they should not do the same efforts as northern countries because, of course, we have, I mean, polluted a lot, much more than them, etc., uh, etc. Et so, can we say through this type of work that, for instance, uh, you did it for China, for France, but for China, that China has not any more, uh, I mean, uh, uh, is not any more in a situation of saying that, uh, okay, North has a debt and China is, has not. Mm. Well, my answer is, is brief, no. <laughs> I, uh, I did not uh, uh, study uh, uh, those aspects, ecological uh, debt. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, I mean, if you start from this kind of uh, work, uh, you have many arguments. Uh, are you aware of some work doing that? Or? Not, not really. Okay. Not really. Okay. To be honest, I, I, uh, okay. she had a question. I'm sorry because she, she was asking okay. for. Very quickly. I'm Natalia from Colombia, and yes, indeed, if you analyze like the graphs of uh, material extraction in Latin America, it, it's exactly the mirror image, and it has to do also, I think, with the industrialization for, of import substitution process, because uh, many of the industries that were built in Latin America were related to, the, uh, to mineral extraction, so for example, um, yeah, fossil fuels, um, like oil, coal, coal. Mm -hmm. and it really, um, it really um, allowed for some precarious um, building of the welfare state in our country. Mm -hmm. And also, I think I find very important what you say about the cumulative effects because the remaining infrastructure that. Brazil, Chile, and Me even Mexico, some countries that undertake this process are still there, mm -hmm. even after the process of um, neoliberal aperture. Because what the neoliberal aperture did was um, 
in Latin America, the, the consequence is the um, intensification of extractivism. This is how we live it there. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened? Like, the problem is not is not that it um, it's two opposite like dynamics. First, uh, the state is start to um, privatize the companies to sell out everything. So it's not that we, um, as it's not that it completely changed the dynamic, it changes like, the ownership of who is extracting. So it's who is regulating in the sovereignty, mm -hmm. the consequences of the sovereignty in the, mm -hmm. in the territory. So when you say, um, uh, stop um, national methodological nationalism, which I found very interesting be because of the global value chains, you know. But still, this um, experience take us to give some important relevance to the state as unit of analysis because mm -hmm. the state still counts and what's what is making the difference. So, in Brazil or in Bolivia, for example, when they nationalize the uh, the the, like the fossil fuel extraction in the process with Evo Morales, for example, they you see the developed um, the levels of um, GDP increasing again and the redistribution that can be made in a society. So it also um, did lead us to think about uh, this debate of um, the, the, the developed debate. You know, but we need to come back to the uh, still to the to the nation state because it still matters. Mm -hmm. It's matter of the, who is controlling this growth. Okay, so I think it was a remark. Uh, I want to thank <laughs> <laughs> except if you want to answer but No no that's really thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mirror.